this is problem number two. It says, find the slope of the tangent line to y squared times the natural log of x equals 3y minus 2 at the point e comma 1. Okay? So, since it says find the slope of the tangent line, it means find the derivative. Okay? So, we're looking for dy over dx. So that means we have to take the derivative of this equation. Okay? So since there are y terms inside this equation, we have to use implicit differentiation. Okay? So let's take the derivative of it. Okay? So we have y squared times the natural log of x. Okay? So that means function times function, we use the product. Okay? So the first times the derivative of the second. 1 over x, okay? then we add the, deri or the second times the derivative of the first. So the derivative of the first is 2y, okay? but since we have this y term, we have to multiply it by dy over dx. Okay? So that would be the full derivative for y squared. Okay? Then this would equal the derivative of this side. Derivative of 3y is 3 times dy over dx. Okay? Then the derivative of negative 2 is 0. Okay? <coughs> so now we have the full derivative. Okay? So since we're finding the slope of the tangent line at a particular point, okay, we can go ahead and plug in our x and our y. Okay? So that's x. And that is 1. Okay? So we have that's y is 1, so 1 squared times 1 over x, which is 1 over e, plus the natural log of e times 2 times 1, okay? Times dy over dx, okay? And that would equal 3 dy over dx. Okay? So, all we have to do is simplify and solve for dy over dx. Okay? So, this first part becomes 1 over e. Okay? Alright? The natural log of e is 1. So, this is 1 times 2 times 1. So, it's 2 dy over dx. That should equal 3 dy over dx. Okay? So, we want to collect all the dy over dx terms. Okay? So, let's move the 2 dy over dx over. And we're going to get 1 over e equals 3 minus 2, which is 1. So, it's 1 times dy over dx. So we see that dy over dx equals 1 over e, okay? and that is d. Okay? So that's